Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca and today I'm unboxing my very first fairy loot box. I did buy this box myself and but I wanted to unbox it for you guys and I haven't even opened it yet so let's get to it. I have my scissors right here. All right, I'm going to show you first. And here we go. So here's the spoiler card. It's for October. I want to be surprised, so I'm not going to look at what's on it, but I do love the art on this. It's so nice. Can't wait to see what's in this box. Okay. So we have the little squigglies. Can't see what's in it, so let's dig right in, okay? Oh my God. Take these out. Ooh, so we have socks. These are vampire hunter socks. Always need socks. I'm always losing my socks. So, well, they have a little crest on them. Let's see what these are from. Bookish socks are a necessity, especially when the air chills. We hope you love this pair inspired by the Sassy Castlevania series and designed by the wonderful at Jez Hawk. Do I love these? These have skulls and bats and swords with the crest on the front. These are cute. I'll definitely get a use out of these. Let's see what's next. A deck of cards. Wicked Hearts playing cards. These are nice. You can never have too many playing cards. I don't really have a deck of playing cards. Let's see. The gorgeous foiled playing cards include artwork from four amazingly wicked fandoms. You can spot characters from The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller, The Beautiful by Renee Audier, Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, and Even the Darkest Stars by Heather Fawcett. We think at Ours 28 has done such an amazing job illustrating the cards, and we really hope you love them. Let's open things up and see. See what we have. I love the matte box with the foiled hearts and the foiled letters. Can you see that? Let's see. Open these up without breaking them. I'm gonna rip the box. <laughs> I don't wanna rip the box. Okay, there we go. Ooh. These are nice. So here we have the cards. These are normal, but they're so nice with the foiling. And I like the way the cards are black. And these are the characters from A Sorcery of Thorns, I believe. I can't remember what their names are, but I know this is the um the demon sidekick. And this was the main character, and this was her love interest. So those were the spades. These are the hearts. I can't tell which book these are from. But the art on these cards is amazing. I love these. So those are hearts. These are the clubs. Here's the art for the clubs. And here are the diamonds. And I believe these character cards are from The Beautiful by Renee Audier. So here's, this is Bastion, and we have Celine, and then I believe this is Bastion's friend. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. The art on these cards is amazing. I love these. These are so nice. Okay, let's see what else we have next. Something in a little very loot envelope. I think this is the pin. Oh, this is nice. The Young Elite's enamel pin. It is my turn to use my turn to hate. 
this is nice. You have the, I love the gold with the wolf with the constellations inside. It's so nice. So the enamel pin. We had to include an item inspired by the Young Elites by Marie Lu. This beautiful enamel pen has been designed by the talented at Alchemy and Ink. This is a beautiful pen. I love this. This is the beginning of my enamel pen collection. I do not have any pens. So this is the first one and I'm very happy with it. It looks very nice. See, so next we have a box. Kingdom of the Wicked. By Earth, Moon, and Stone. Bless this hearth, bless this home. These salt and pepper shakers. Let's see what they look like. Oh, these are nice ceramic. Oh, I like them. So this one has a moon on it. And it has a little quote. Another moon. These are so nice. The foiling is gorgeous. And then this one has snakes on it. I love little homey stuff like this. These are definitely going in my kitchen. So the salt and pepper shakers. We hope you'll love this gorgeous set of salt and pepper shakers that showcase a stunning design by At Novern Tail in foil. The quotes are from our featured book of the month, which is anything but bland, so your food shouldn't be either. Next, we have this box, which is a puzzle, Jacks from the Carabelle series. This is what it looks like. I love puzzles. Very cute box. I haven't read the Caraval series. It's in my Libby. I'm waiting for it to come in and I can't wait because I've heard great things and I want to read it so bad. So we have looking for something to do while you're listening to an audiobook. A bookish puzzle might be just what you're looking for. Once completed, it will display a portrait of Jax from Caraval by Stephanie Garber, which was illustrated by Saltese at Saltese. This is gorgeous. I love it. It really makes me want to read the books even more. Okay, so here we have the tarot cards. I can't tell who these are, but I really want to know. Here we have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Very nice. Okay, so this month's featured tarot cards are the Nine and Ten of Swords. They are designed by the very talented at ours. C28 and are inspired by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. So I have not read House of Earth and Blood yet. It is on my TBR. I have it right behind me on my shelf. And it is definitely a book I want to try and get to by the end of the year, if not January of next of this coming year. Okay, so here's the book. Not gonna look. Get all the paper and stuff out. Mm, I don't want to spoil myself, so we're going to put that aside. And here's the bookmark from the spoiler card. And let's look at the book. So it's Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I love this. Oh, wow. Look at these sprayed edges. They're gorgeous. And here we have me signed book plate. I signed again on the title page. This is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so they did foil the front cover. This is beautiful. I'm actually not, not upset because I actually bought this book the day it came out. But this version is gorgeous. So here's the art on the inside of the cover. This is beautiful. I love this so much. So I actually... have the regular version of Kingdom of the Wicked. It's on my, it was on my, it's on my TBR for this month to be read. So I can't wait to get to it. But now I can annotate this one and keep this one nice and pristine. I love these edges. They're so beautiful. Okay, so Kingdom of the Wicked. 
by Carrie Maniscalco. Let's see what it's about. Two sisters, one murder, a quest for vengeance that will unleash hell itself. Amelia and her twin sister, Vittoria, have been inseparable all of their lives. As stray witches who exist secretly among humans, they know the dangers of drawing attention and work at their family's renowned Sicilian restaurant, avoiding notice and persecution. But one night, Vittoria doesn't come home. And it's not long before a distraught Amelia discovers the body of her beloved twin, desecrated beyond belief. Devastated, Amelia vows to find her sister's killer and seek vengeance at any cost even if it means calling upon a dark magic that has been long forbidden. When Amelia meets Wraith, one of the wicked princes of hell, she has been warned against since she was a child. Wraith claims to be on Amelia's side, tasked by his master with solving a series of murders on the island of which Vittoria is the latest victim. But when it comes to the wicked, nothing is as it seems. Again, it was on my DVR. I'm so excited to read it. And this book is gorgeous. I love the sprayed edges. I'm <laughs> love the embossing on the front. It's gorgeous. The foiling, the art on the inside of the cover is beautiful too. And I like this. This was a very good box for my first fairy loot box. I'm very happy. And then we have the cards. This is a deleted chapter from a book. So this is a chapter that the author didn't put in the book. Can't wait to get to that. Here we have the fairy scoop with the author interview and then we have the exclusive edition what they changed about the um this edition of the kingdom of the wicked it comes with the exclusive cover stencil sprayed edges printed signature on title page artwork on reverse of the dust jacket foil design on the hardcover and the signed book plate and bonus chapter and then we have the read along which is being read by amy and then next month's theme enemies to lovers and then we have an art print with the letter from the author on the back so from going from the summary on the book sleeve, I would assume this is Wraith. This art is gorgeous. I think from this box, my favorite, I'd have to say, I love this art print of Wraith. I can't wait to put that up. The tarot cards are also really beautiful. And then my favorite would probably have to be the playing cards. I've read the majority of the books from the for the characters from the playing cards, so just being able to see them in the art is really gorgeous, and I love the color and the way these look. I can't wait to play with these. These are beautiful. I love these. All right, guys, that was my very first Fairy Loot unboxing. I loved everything in the box. I can't wait for next month's box. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.